welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of this video that I'm gonna be doing a Sam's Club haul. I have not been to Sam's in like probably over a month. I feel like it's been forever and the kids are all out of school. I just got back from my girls trip. So we are super low on food, like everything. I gotta get diapers, wipes, snacks, just the whole nine yards. So. We're gonna go to Sam's, I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go shopping and then I'm gonna come home, share the haul with you guys and also like pick everything up and organize it. So let's go ahead and get to Sam's Club. It is already 10 o'clock, so I'm hoping it won't be too busy. It is a Tuesday, so hopefully it won't be too busy, but we're gonna find out. Ethan broke our TV for, for the boys' room, so we have to find another one. Trying to find some cheap ones. Got a pool for a hundred bucks. Oh, I love the blends. They're so pretty. Oh, I like this. I know. They're Whoa. That is really pretty. Yeah, they are really I don't like quick. This, style. this is the first time they finally have a lighter blue, so so I think I'm gonna get them, and they're super soft. Yeah, they're up high, huh? How high the boxes are. Here is everything we got from Sam's Club. I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. We got some more peanut butter because we completely ran out. My husband had no bread or anything. I just came back from my girls trip if you guys missed that. I will put the vlog up in the cards for you guys to check that out, but my husband ran out of so much stuff, so I got some peanut butter. This is something new I've never seen before. I'm excited to try it out. It's Julian's Keto Waffle Breakfast Sandwiches. So hopefully these taste really good. I have no idea. I'll let you guys know what I think about them. Um, but me and my husband are trying to, uh, you know, eat healthy, watch our carb intake. So we got these to try out. 
The kids picked out some chocolate and vanilla pudding. I love getting this because it's a really good price and you get 36 of them. This is something I was so, whoa, I was so happy to see they finally had. I have been waiting for Sam's to come out with like a light blue colored sheet for a really long time. And this is um, super soft, Egyptian cotton. They were pretty pricey. They were pretty pricey. It was like $80, but it's like the perfect color. And I just needed an extra pair of sheets for, you know, whenever I'm washing and stuff. So I'm really excited to wash those and get them on the bed. I also got a watermelon. They were only like five something and it just sounded really good. So I got one of those. Let me know, what do you guys do when you look for a watermelon? Are there like specific things? I heard the rounder ones are sweeter and also the ones that have like the marks like this. So they say this means that it has been pollinated um, really well. I'm not sure. Don't ask me. That's just like what I found on the internet. And this one has like quite a few spots. So I'm hoping that one's going to be a really good watermelon. But let me know down in the comments what do you guys do when you pick a watermelon. Um, and then I wasn't sure if we needed eggs. I forgot to check. So I just got a small thing of the white eggs just in case we needed them. I went ahead and got some of this sharp cheddar cheese. We're going to make sliders sometime this week. So I got that to go on the sliders. We also got these. If you guys have been watching my hauls, you know, ever since I started carrying these, we buy them every time. They are so delicious. The almond butter ones are by far like mine and my husband's favorite. And like I said, we ran out of bread. So I went ahead and got two packs. We're going to be freezing three loaves and leaving one loaf out. I also got a big thing of my five pound cheese. You guys know we need that every single time we go. This is something I don't typically buy, but my husband really loves the Jimmy Dean sausage. You guys know this, but I wanted to go ahead and get the patties that are already pre-made just because it'll save me time. It'll be faster and I mean, it's the same stuff. So got those this time. And we're going to be using the honey roasted, oh my gosh, I thought I bought ham. It's honey roasted turkey breast, but whatever, the kids will like it. We're going to use that for sliders. I also picked up some of the triple zero, I'm not sure how you say that, oikos, oikos maybe, um, Greek yogurt. I love this yogurt. It's super high protein, 15 grams, like zero added sugar. This is a really good Greek yogurt. This is also a staple in the house, especially for my youngest, Ethan. He is obsessed with cheese. This boy lives on cheese, so always gonna get the string cheese. And we got the Hawaiian rolls. This is what we use to make our sliders. So delicious and easy. Also got a big pack of salad. I've really been loving the garden salad. I know the spring mix is like healthier, but I don't know, I've just been loving that. So I've been buying that one recently. Also got some extra tortillas. We still have a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and freeze those just so we have them for when we need them. My husband was out of body wash, so I got this double pack of Old Spice. I thought it smelled really good. He also needed deodorant, but he's really picky with deodorant and they didn't have the one that he needed, so I'm gonna have to go get that at HEB or something at a later time. I also got some cauliflower. I'm gonna make me some cauliflower mash sometime this week. I like doing that with like some salmon or some shrimp, eat it together and it's like, I don't know, I think it's so good. Seafood and cauliflower mash is, I don't know, such a great combo for me. And the kids ran out of their maple syrup for their waffles and pancakes and stuff, so I got a thing of that. I probably should have got two because they just go through it so quick, but next time maybe I'll grab two. Um, the strawberries were a really good price. They were like $4 for this huge thing of strawberries and they look so delicious. I'm excited to eat those. And the blackberries were on sale for like two sixty dollars something. And oh, you guys know, blackberries are probably my number one fruit. I am obsessed. I could eat an entire thing in one sitting. They're just so good. Um, and then the kids love their apples. So I got them um, some cosmic crisp apples. Of course, we had to get the Jimmy Dean croissant sausage egg and cheese sandwiches. They did have something new. It was with pancakes on top. We almost bought them, but it only came with eight and they were the same price. And I mean, eight is gonna last us like 
a day and a half so we did not get those but just so you know they have something with pancakes at sam's club if you guys are interested this is something new that my sam's haven't like they haven't been carrying this they are hungry jack mini pancakes so we got these instead of waffles this time to see how the kids like it it comes with 200 so hopefully the kids will you know like those and not have to eat a million of them to get full we went ahead and got Fruity Pebbles this time. The kids were like arguing which cereal they wanted. They were like throwing a fit, especially Ethan. He started crying because he wanted Lucky Charms. But I told him next time we'll do Lucky Charms. This time we're going to do Fruity Pebbles. And then we got the kids some of the yogurt go-go squeezes. They really love those. Don't do that, baby. Shh. Ethan, don't do that. We also got some fig bars. These are really good and healthy. The kids picked out Pop-Tarts, which will likely be just like a breakfast, or if they do it for a snack, then I only let them have one, and then we save the other Pop-Tart for later. Me? Yeah, you. I like it. <laughs> yeah, you like Pop-Tarts. Yeah. And then we picked up some toilet paper because we're like basically down to the last roll. I needed paper towels, but my buggy was like packed to the max. So I couldn't get any paper towels, unfortunately, but I'll probably do another trip here soon. Just like a, a quick, super like small haul because there is like a few things that I couldn't get just because we were just out of room. Um, but we got some of the zero Gatorades. I love these things. I think they taste so good and they're just like a nice little treat for the kids and it doesn't add any sugar or calories into their diet. So love having those on hand. We got two things of water this time. We're actually under a no drink, um, like a no drinking the water at this time. Um, I guess someone I guess they hit a pipe in the ground and the water line busted so the water is like not drinkable so we're supposed to boil it if we need to like use it to cook or anything and you guys it was insane in the store like they were offloading the water and there was just like crowds of people filling their buggies up with water it was insane but i only grabbed two because i'm hoping the water will be fixed here within like a day or two they usually fix it pretty quick whenever this happens but we just didn't have the room in the buggy so i figured between the Gatorades, the waters, the Zevias. Hopefully that'll hold us over long enough for the water to be fixed, but we'll see. But it was a madhouse near the water. And then I also picked up Ethan his diapers because he is like, he has only a few left. He also needed some wipes, so we got some baby wipes. I just get the um, Sam's Club brand. I think they work really good. We always get the unscented. Oh my gosh, I bought scented, I'm just realizing. I really hope that does not bother his skin. He usually has like really sensitive skin. Well, I guess we're gonna find out about that. Whoops, mom fail. Um, and then the last thing I got was a thing of my Zevia drinks. I'm just about running out, so I had to get some more. I love those. And that is everything that I got from Sam's Club. Um, but I spent a total of $450 for everything.
All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me at Sam's Club and seeing my huge haul as a family of six. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help grow my channel. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Join my YouTube family. I do upload tons of grocery hauls, day in the lives, just pretty much any motherhood content, you will find it here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.